All right, so I'm standing about eight feet from the car now. So this is the way it would uh, represent itself. As far as uh, from this distance here, really there's no obvious cosmetic uh, blemishes that really pop out. I saw some, but you really have to get really close and it's not really much. This is one of the nicer examples I've seen uh, here at the dealership. Uh, I've already taken still photos already. Um, so I'll be reviewing those later, just in case there's something that I missed while doing the initial walk around. I typically do uh, pictures and video and um, any way I can capture any, any uh, additional information. So when I'm sitting down at my desk going over everything, I, I can uh, uh, process all of the information. Uh, let's start off by looking at the front grill area, right? So it looks pretty, it looks decent. Uh, you know, this minor, minor, uh, uh, there's a little bit of paint here, a little bit of fisheye there, prep work, but but if I stand like from, I'm about three feet away right now, I don't even see it, right? Uh, it's my job to get up close and scrutinize. Uh, grill looks good. Checked all the fins there, nice, okay, in decent shape. Uh, bumper guards, nice and secure. Lenses look good. Okay. Right. But, oops, sorry, but my ring caught that. Okay, good. All right, uh, looking at the uh, at the hood area here, let's start getting some paint meter readings. And I'll start here with the center. Uh, let's get the scene warm up here. So this paint meter here, it reads in the thousandths of an inch. So right now I just got my first reading 20.5. If there's a there's a default on this uh, uh, this uh, meter, if there's a specific reading of 19.7, that's an indication of body filler, right? So let's go ahead and start. Okay, so 20.5, good. Okay, um, that might be our first, okay, six. Sometimes when I get that 19.7, I, I, I'll retest it just to make sure. So good, okay, 20, thousands of an inch. Do that again, 19, 19, 19. Okay, so from here on in, I'm getting a reading, so there's possibly a body filler use there. Uh, when I do see that, I, I scrutinize it even more where I'm looking up close and I'm looking for any uh, prep work issues perfections or what have you so the quality of workmanship seems to be there um, moving on here the cowl area five there is a small chip here by the uh, uh, vent here and there are no windshield wipers get some more readings for looking at the windshield the chrome trim looks good uh, don't see any scratches or uh, obvious blemishes other than a little scuff mark there the glass I check it for delamination cracks and chips again uh, not, nothing obvious there coming out at me Looking at the uh, left rear, or sorry, left front tire. Okay, uh, what I always like to do is I like to check these spokes before I do anything else. Make sure everything's uh, nice and tight. Sometimes they get loose, and then the the knockoff, right? It's on there secure. And uh, I also like to get a shot of the inner wheel well. Even though I'll be having this car up on the lift, uh, I just like to capture it as much as possible, uh, not only for myself but also so you can view it as well. While I'm down here, uh, I like to get a little side view. Looking for waviness, dents or scratches, or dents or dings. Here you can see some you know, uh, uh, minor blemishes here. Again, if I stand away three to five feet, uh, you don't need to see this stuff. But I, I think as far as condition wise, you already have your expectations. You know that this was not gonna be perfect. All right, uh, looking at the uh, panel gaps, I still need to study these when I get back to the office on the monitor. But so far they look consistent from top to bottom, and as well as the door. Um, I always like to open these up, move them around a little bit, make sure they don't drop. I don't see any scuff marks down here, uh, which can be an indication of sagging. Good, door closes nice. I typically don't do the interior just yet, but now that I'm here, that's pretty good. I still need to get in there and check all the operations, um, but looks, looks pretty nice. And then here, I'm uh, looking at the, uh, oh, I don't think I got the uh, meter readings. Let's see here, uh, lower fender, 11. Okay, 19.7, so we know we got some body filler down there. Here on the left door, 19, good. Eight point five. okay, 17. 6.5, 6, and 12. Okay, so we are running across some body filler, but it's not the whole panel. It seems to be small areas. 
Uh, let's see here. Did I do the wheel already? I think I did uh, wheel well. Let me just do it just in case again. And then just do a quick check of the spokes. They all seem uh, pretty tight. Mock off is on there secure. And then we'll do this little side panel view here. I've got a glare on the screen, so it's far for, it, for me to see what I'm filming here. I'll review this later myself as part of the analysis process. Okay, let's uh, get some more paint meter readings. Chrome and Brightwork, it looks like it's in good shape, 3.5. Just some minor pitting here on the, uh, on the hinges. 6.5, 7.5, and nine. Okay, so a little bit of body filler there. Nine, so we're, I mean, we're really getting overall some solid readings, 18.5. 5, 5, 6.5, 9, 18, 7, 3.5. Great readings. Okay. Next, uh, I got plenty of pictures back here. Let's take a look at the uh, right rear wheel well area. And then again, let's just check those spokes real quick. Good, good. Knock off here. This one's a little banged up a little bit. Not sure if they use the uh, aluminum mallet that comes with it. And then a the side view here. Let's uh, see how the door opens and closes. Nice, no excess play. Don't see any uh, scuff marks, signs of sagging and it closes real nice. Okay. Another view of the interior. Okay. Uh, let's see the uh, windshield post here. This one, you see some fading here. So depending on what level you want to take it, this may need some attention, getting it redone. A little chip here. And let's get some more paint meter readings. Five. Five, five, good. Six point five, six point five, six, and ten point five. So those are nice solid readings. And then let's get the uh, uh, wheel well area and the uh, right front, and then I'll check the spokes as well. Actually, I'm checking that while I'm doing the video. Um, so I've already checked the spokes already. That's good. And this knockoff here is in a little better shape. And then you can see some little uh, light surface rust. Let's give you a final view of the exterior before I move on. So the car has been sitting here for about a good 35, 45 minutes or so. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start it up. This will be the second time that I hear it start. So that way you can experience what, I, what I'm experiencing at the same time. But here we go. Um, let me reach in there and here we go. I already checked to make sure that it's in uh, neutral and start. Okay, so it fires right up, right? Quick uh, little uh, uh, snap at the switch there. Let me see if I can adjust the, the choke a little bit. So no difference when I pull the choke out. So I'm gonna let it idle here for a little bit and then I'll rev it up a little bit. Uh, RPM is just around 600. Okay. And then uh, we'll go back here. So quite a bit of smoke here. I probably need to step on the accelerator a little bit and uh or maybe easier if i just come to the engine bay area and uh, let's get the rpms up so I, I just did the rpms right now it's um it's pretty responsive right so that's kind of nice i'm looking at the back right now and I'm, I'm gonna still walk over there but i don't see any signs of any smoke I don't hear any abnormal noises coming from the top end nor at the bottom end. The pulleys look straight. I'm only checking the coolant right now. And uh, let's try that a couple times more. So, okay, nice and responsive. And then let me just check this before it gets too hot. And uh, I've already opened it. And uh, just check it for any signs of cross contamination. But now I'm checking for bubbling while it's running. As you can see, it's still uh, struggling to maintain idle right now. So we'll see how it does as it warms up. That's uh, me again, just... Uh, gonna get more gas and let me just check for smoke and blow by here 
Okay, I don't see any smoke coming out. Good. Good sign. And I got pictures of the carburetor, the firewall. I got all the tags there. The firewall looks pretty uh, good, and the inner fenders. You can see here. You can see where the, the paint is tuning a little bit. Probably from the fuel dripping down there. The excess fuel. And again, the idle's a little rough. Also, I had to borrow the tool from one of the technicians here for the hood pin release. I looked around in the car. I didn't. I didn't see if it had one or if it has one. So just keep that in mind if you decide to um, go with the purchase of the vehicle. You'll need, you'll need to get one of these. Okay, uh, looking at the gauges really quick here. Oil pressure uh, just above the zero mark there. We'll call it like around 10. I'll check that a little later on. Uh, I'll be looking at the coolant uh, gauges and the fuel is reading just above half. Average around middle. Uh, horn works. And there's no sense in me trying to... Uh, check the wipers, there's no wiper plate. Uh, no slipping, this is second gear. Third. And uh, fourth gear. It, it is driving straight when I let go of the steering wheel. The steering is, is a little bit heavy, uh, but what would you expect with no power assist? So, But it, it does drive, drive straight, and when I step on the brakes, uh, it stops straight as well. All the gauges seem to be working uh, here. We've got the uh, gauges all uh, seem operational. I just gotta check the lights and then I uh, check the undercarriage, but uh, don't hear any abnormal noises coming from the transmission when I shift the gears with the synchros. Uh, getting no slipping. Oops, uh, sorry, that was me, actually. Um, and uh, really no no shimmy. I can only go about, I think, 35, 40 miles with my top speed. Uh, we are restricted to just the uh, back streets, but so far it seems to operate uh, uh, nicely and acceleration uh, is, is uh, good as well. And when I go over bumps, I don't hear any, any rubbing. And we'll go and shut down.